All right, welcome everybody. This is going to be the weekly recap ending on uh, February 18th, 2022. Kind of keep this recap short. Once again, remember um, the plan, I guess, at this point is going to be we will be going to our live show starting on the 1st of March. So that is the plan go date. Don't hold me to that, but going to do the best to keep that keep that commitment so going live march 1st remember you don't have to be a subscriber to watch the first hour we'll be looking at not only looking at the core setups we'll be throwing out some setups for the core but also we'll be looking at watching uh, the indices we're going to be watching crude oil heating oil uh, gold silver so we're going to be looking at a lot of different things and on the indices, we're not only going to let you know uh, when the uh, the setup sets up for a buy or a short, but we're also going to be providing a profit objective and or stop and reversal. Okay, so that's kind of work the way it works. Um, research has shown that we typically will hit our uh, profit potential 73% of the time. So uh, more likely than not, we're going to hit that profit potential before it ever gets close to stopping and reversing. All right. So uh, I think you all are really going to enjoy that. There's a lot of potential, certainly within the first uh, two to three hours. We're only going to provide uh, the first hour on the live show. And then, of course, uh, from that point forward, it's going to be subscribers that will have access to the uh, to the targeted prices to the profit objective on all the indices and also of course the rest of the core setups so let's keep this brief let's just go over this last week once again as always for the last several years we continue to track the one pattern that we uh, we do teach you in the core packets and that is going to be PAP you can see that we're right where we would expect to be 75 75 percent on the Aussie we're looking at probably uh, what about 72 percent average on the euro and then of course uh, the yen is uh, yen is going to be a little bit higher so um, very good week as I mentioned coming into last week uh, the focus I was recommending everybody to stick with the US yen and uh, once again that was the strongest for the week first trades of the day man I had a 100 percent win rate going into Friday and uh, unfortunately that friday trade was not a winner now remember that first trade of the day means i'm looking at whatever the first setup is for me that occurs either in the aussie us euro or the us yen all right there's no magic it just typically that first trade right out of the gate tends to be a, a nice profitable trade so um and i know that the the subscribers enjoy watching those first trades and a lot of them are taking those first trades but nonetheless uh, stats once again right where I'd expect them 90% between the uh, the evening and the daily session and then of course as I mentioned I did no trading probably not going to do any trading until I get ready to go to the live show my focus is getting everything ready for that and uh, we're doing some uh, we're doing some just some practice in the uh, in the for the students right now in the um, in the course setups and also with our CB traders we are doing some uh, just some testing with uh, how they like the way that everything is going to be set up in terms of how we're going to do our projections and our stop and reversals and I think we've got a pretty good format down for that so going to continue to focus on that so first of March hopefully all the pieces will be in place uh, the transition will be pretty smooth and I know a lot of people are really excited about it. So that's the, so the game plan is no more trading here uh, until the 1st of March. All right. Besides that, that's it. Anybody have any questions, as always, go to binaryprostrategies.com. Let me know you like my videos, of course. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the notification bell. We'll keep you updated on, on the new videos that are coming out. And also on the uh, when we actually go live. And... Um, also if you want to subscribe please subscribe and that will allow me to continue to make these videos so that being said everybody have a good trading week yes i would continue to focus on the us yen this week if i had a choice between the aussie and the euro probably continue to lean more towards the euro all right stay away from the aussie even though the percentages were 
were really good this week. That is to be expected, but I still like the action on the Euro. And of course, the US Yen would be my favorite. All right. That being said, everybody have a good trading week. And uh, we will talk with everybody on the next recap, which is going to be next weekend. So take care.